Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to deal with this numerical. Design a linear phase FIR band pass filter to pass band frequencies in the range of 0.45 to 0.65 pi by taking 7 samples of hanging window. Okay. First of all, write the given details. The given details to you is FIR band pass filter. bandpass filter we have to design fir bandpass filter okay to pass the frequencies the range is given that is omega c1 is 0 0.45 and what is my omega c2 value 0 0.65 pi okay by taking seven samples taking seven samples means n is equals to 7 okay and samples of hanging window Hanging window. Okay, we have to design. So after writing given things, let's start with the step number one. The step number one is to calculate HD of e raised to j omega. And here we have given bandpass filter. I always tell you to mark this bandpass filter. Whichever filter is given, you have to write that equation. So bandpass filter. Let me draw this diagram for you. See this there is a omega c1 and there is a omega c2 value this band will pass and draw its mirror image see this minus omega c2 will be the leftmost and minus omega c1 let's write the equation hd of e raised to j omega this is your band pass okay band pass filter design hd of e raised to j omega is e raised to minus j omega alpha and the range is minus omega c2 is less than equals to omega is less than equals to minus omega c1 i'm just writing the equations for the bandpass filter okay omega c1 is less than omega is less than equals to omega c2 after writing this value uh, equations you may proceed towards the step number two the step number two is to calculate hd of n is calculate hd of n the formula of hd of n is 1 upon 2 pi integration minus pi to pi hd of e raised to j omega multiplied by e raised to j omega and d omega this is the formula after that substitute 1 upon 2 pi i will just open a bracket because we have two ranges okay first range i will write minus omega c2 to minus omega c1 hd of e raised to j omega is e raised to minus j omega alpha into e raised to j omega n plus integration of course d omega integration second limit omega c1 to omega c2 okay right here e raised to minus j omega alpha into e raised to j omega and d omega after writing this now we have to take common say this e raised to j omega is common in this also and this also so take e raised to j omega common and from your n minus alpha n minus alpha will come and we are integrating it with respect to d omega so that's why leave omega and whichever term is there and the minus omega c2 to minus omega c1 plus similarly the same thing will come over here also will be the limit value will change omega c1 to omega c2 after writing this two equations we are done with this now just substitute the upper limit and the lower limit before that j n minus alpha j n minus alpha is common in this two so we can take j n minus alpha outside so right here 1 upon 2 pi j n minus alpha i am taking outside the brackets 
and I will just substitute the upper limit and the lower limit first upper limit I will substitute minus omega c1 in place of omega so here I will be getting see this here I will be getting e raised to minus j omega c1 n minus alpha okay minus e raised to what I will get e raised to minus j omega c2 n minus alpha okay so first bracket done now plus addition I will write now second bracket uh, upper limit e raised to j omega c2 n minus alpha minus lower limit e raised to j omega c1 n minus alpha now we have completed the equations properly after writing this we just have to rearrange the terms okay we just have to rearrange so as you can see omega c1 and here it is omega c2 so i don't want that i will write we have to arrange that terms properly so we can write e raised to first of all we will take omega c2 okay e raised to as you can see e raised to j omega c2 right here e raised to j omega c2 n minus alpha and this minus e raised to minus j omega c2 n minus alpha divided by 2j you can write close the bracket i've shifted 2j inside this bracket and below this also will 2j will come before that i am taking minus sign common and now after taking minus sign common i will write here e raised to j omega c1 n minus alpha because i took minus sign outside and now here minus of e raised to minus j omega c1 n minus alpha upon 2j okay so this whole term will be my sine theta so see this sine theta how will you write theta theta value is this omega c2 sine omega c2 n minus alpha minus sine in this bracket in this bracket you can see sine omega c1 n minus alpha you will get whole divided by pi n minus alpha so this is the value of h d of n after getting the value of h d of n you can proceed with step number three you can proceed with step number three step number three says to find window now to find the window okay handing window is given to you in the question H A N N I N G handing window. So write the equation of handing window. Handing window equation you will use it over here. So handing window equation is zero point five minus zero point five cos of two pi n upon n minus one. 0 is less than n is less than n minus 1 this is the equation for handing window if you want to check that you can check i have made a dedicated video upon the window techniques so here you will properly write 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 cos of 2 pi and i don't know and n minus 1 is 7 minus 1 because in question we have given 7 n is 7 so 6 and 0 is less than equal to n is less than n minus 1 is 6 write that properly 
this is w n of n step number 4 is quite simple step number 4 let's talk about step number 4 is h of n is w n of n multiplied by h d of n h d of n we have to multiply this and this together so just write it properly 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 cos of 2 pi n by 6 multiplied by this in place of omega c2 and omega c1 you just substitute these values given in the question now it's the time for you to substitute the values in step number four you will substitute the values okay in previous all three steps we are not substituting the values because it will become hectic in our calculation so it's better to just substitute the values in step number four remember this thing now omega c2 value I, I have with me omega c1 value i have with me and the value of alpha i can calculate it very easily you know alpha is n minus 1 by 2 i will write alpha is equal to n minus 1 by 2 see this your n value is 7 so 7 minus 1 by 2 how much it will be 3 alpha will be 3 so it is quite simple so alpha also you know so right here sign of right omega c2 value check this 0 0.65 pi right here 0 0.65 pi n minus alpha value is 3 minus sine of what is that 0 0.45 omega c1 sine 0 0.4 pi n minus 3 whole divided by pi n minus alpha right n minus alpha value is 3 you got this complete equation this is your h of n okay complete it equation when you just properly type this whole uh, equation in your calculator operate your calculator in the radian mode only okay radian mode see this radian symbol okay radian mode so after calculating all the values uh, just after typing type this in your calculator properly okay complete this bracket properly open this bracket open a bracket here close this bracket open a new bracket close and double close okay give the brackets properly and after you type this equation in your calculator now the small n value is from 0 1 2 up till 6 because n minus 1 okay so after that you know the procedure in the previous two sums i have i have told you so i have this values you can check h of 0 is 0 h of 1 0 0.555 h of 3 is error h of 4 is this h of 5 is this and h of 6 is 0 now h of 3 is giving you error right so i will take it by using l hospital rule i will find out h of 3 h of 3 see this write this equation and this equation this equation is not giving me a problem so this equation i'm not facing problem only i will apply l hospital to this particular equation after applying l hospital rule to this particular equation you will be left with see this You will be left with 1 into 0 0.65 minus 0 0.4 so h of 3 is 0 0.25 after uh, you get h of 3 0 0.25 the next step is to calculate h of z summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 7 minus 1 is 6 h of n z is to minus n so just write this values properly and combine it together after combining it together you will have your final h of z So final h of z value is minus 0 0.0556 z raised to minus 1 plus z raised to minus 5 minus 0 0.0143 z raised to minus 2 plus z raised to minus 4 plus 0 0.25 z raised to minus 3 so this is your final h of z value okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope you understood this video properly see this video again if you have any doubt you can write it
down in the comment section below thank you so much